Spirits review, live from the Robin Hood and Little John pub in Arnold in Nottinghamshire, um, Lincoln Green Brewing Company pub. Um, I'm here with my wife, my daughter and her best friend. Uh, I managed to ninja through the bar and uh, with the face mask. There's only a good thing about wearing face masks, you can ninja through. And I did. And uh, that moment has arrived. Reggie's golden ale. How funny is this? Um, so, golden ball, white head. Hints of citrus on the nose. This is a 3.8% golden ale. So it's it's aimed at the vast, the massive majority of people rather than just something like an imperial stout, which is aimed at, um, shall we say, you know, the craft beer population. So more aimed at um, traditional drinkers rather than just pure craft. Um, anyway, made with three hops. I think Centennial is one. And I can't for the life of them, but two hops. Um, <clears throat> bad me. I was the one that actually helped brew it with the good man Martin. And I actually remembered his name now, Martin, the head brewer, over at Lincoln Green Brewing Company. It was a fantastic day when I went, and uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. Um, I will do a full review at home. I'm going to take a, um, a pint bottle home with me, draft, and do a, a, a beer review of Raggy's Golden in the beer room because. Um, there's an iconic moment with that to, to do a beer review in my the home of beer reviews, or for me at least. So anyway, I can do quite a nice review now as well. Sorry I'm not live, live. I am live in the pub, but I'm not live because I didn't want to, um, I'm hiding out of the way from the public. Luckily, it's quiet at the back. It's a citrus in this. Um, it's a nice bit of a twang. Good flavour that lasts on the mouth. What a moment, what a moment, you know. To do a review as well, a, a, a pub that I've been fond of since, not long after it opened, we came in here with the Sainsbury's lot. Um, the likes of Marie, Lee, Nicholas, Simon, um, back in, it must have been our late 2004 and early 2015, not long after this place opened. And uh, the beers on the bar, you know, they're just absolutely amazing. For anybody who comes to Nottingham, make sure you go to any of these Lincoln Green pubs. There's one in Belper, and then there's four around Nottingham itself. Uh, one in Arnold, one in Carlton, one at Cannon Circus, and one in Hucknall. And uh, for a second then, I nearly forgot. Uh, I am going to go visiting all the pubs. I've been to the Brickyard tonight, to, uh, and I walked in and no matter how I come across on here, I'm actually quite a shy person. Well, until I've had a drink and they get loud, and then I don't really care. And um, I walked in and I sat down, and the landlord came up and says, Becky! And I went, oh no, straight away he recognised me. And I've walked into the Robin Hood Little John, and I've been in there many times, and you know where your face masks on? I'm ninja behind you, so easy. And I thought, sent the wife down to the bar to get the beer, as you do. And, um, yeah, so I'm here my daughter, Alex, and daughter's friend, my wife, Tracy. And I'm doing the beer with you. So this is great. It tastes spot on. Um, let me get down, all the way down. I might, I might need to do a proper review at home when I can, when I'm not watching out for people coming up and uh, so if someone sits down now, it's going to kill me mojo. Nice twang coming from it. A citrusy twang. We're not talking traditional citrus, we're not talking craft citrus. You know, 
there's always a thing there. Is it craft? Is it traditional? It's more traditional. It's refreshing, crisp, um, there's a zestiness to it. Really fills the mouth with flavour. It's one of these that, um, you know, one pint's never enough. And, uh, one pint won't be enough because I'm having another one in about 10 minutes. Um, as you think. They've asked me if I want to go down to the bar and, uh, and uh, get a photo pouring it out. Yeah, they see my pores. I'm absolutely the worst pourer in the world. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, so there's going to be two reviews. There's going to be a pub review while I'm in the pub, while I'm actually out in the beer garden. And uh, then there'll be a review from home in the beer room tonight. So it's going to be a double... I know I've probably gone on about it, but it's a special moment, you know. For any beer reviewer, and we're not talking beer reviewers with lots and lots of followers, we're talking a beer reviewer with like 1,800 subscribers. In the grand scheme of things, that is a very low amount. Um, I'm from a local company whose beers I absolutely love. I do. There's not a single beer I've ever had that's been bad. You know, and, uh, you know what I'm like. If something's not right, I'll. I'll <laughs> I will say it, but I'll do it in a nice way. You know, there's a way of doing beer reviews and being critical, but being critical in a good way. So, um, oh, someone's walking up. Damn. But anyway, um, yeah, citrus on the taste. Oh, I've walked off, thank God. That's good. Sneaky beer review about people watching me. This is definitely session beer. This is definitely one of those that you, you can drink a lot of. Um, it grows on you, the flavour does. Starts off quite subtle to be fair, but the more you drink it, the more the flavour grows on you. And it's just the iconic thing of drinking beer with your name on it. From a brewery that have done some a gesture which is absolutely awesome, especially for me. I mean, I, I absolutely, um, I want to make sure that the public know that these great breweries and great pubs are out there drinking cask, fresh cask beer, made locally, uh, not by some massive conglomerate who don't really care about their customers, you know, not in the way that the smaller breweries and smaller landlords might do. Um, it's what it's what it's about. It's what it's about supporting local, supporting these brewers. And uh, it's crazy, isn't it? I'm absolutely emotional, you know. And uh, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna do a load of editing and uploading to the internet, all the social media stuff. Thank you, everyone. Just gone over the three years of the channel. No one really knew about the channel until lockdown started last year. And the growth since then has been brilliant. And the community that I've discovered, both um, other beer reviewers, um, beer brewers, and it's really building up nicely. And so many good people, so many nice people. It just shows you the world's full of decent people. And it's worth coming out to these places and having a chit chat, drinking very decent beer. Now to do a review. Oh, right. So, subtle citrus notes on the nose. Citrus on the taste really flows around the mouth. Um, What a moment. For me, a very good session beer. Very good. Easy drinking. Um, a good beer. And for me, I think, as long as it goes down well with the public, because you never know, do you? It's, it's, it's a gamble with any beer that you bring out. 
Will it go down well with the public? I think this is a, this is a beer that it's got it's got flavour, it's got taste, it's got aroma, but it's also a beer that is going to appease not only craft beer fans, which I am a fan of craft beer as well as traditional, but it will also be a beer that a lot of traditional drinkers, especially at this time of the year, with being quite warm, well it's not tonight, it's, kind of, it's a bit more chilly tonight, but uh, yeah, this is this could be a new core beer, I hope it is as well, you know, I hope it is, because um, could you imagine this in supermarkets, wow, scary. For me, a good 4.4 out of 5. And uh, let's see, honest review. I'm not going to I'm not going to give it a 4.8. Uh, but it is an amazing bit, nonetheless. And uh, it means a lot. Look at the lace on that. And that's it for this beer review. Go back to the family now. Thank you all for watching. And uh, there will be a more longer beer review later when I can dissect it in the comfort of my own beer room. But what an amazing moment. Cheers, everyone. See you later.